Hello inferior species. Today I'm gonna be showing you a not so terrible game, played between the entire world and me, or is it the entire world and I? Doesn't matter, whatever I say becomes correct. I played a sideline of the Queen's Gambit accepted with the black pieces, so you can actually learn a not so secret weapon to crush people on the internet, and gain 3000 rating points, or not. This was a type of correspondence chess we played in my community tab. Everyone was free to use their minds, or their weak engines in which the most liked comment wins. Let's now show you how the game went. The very first move was actually forced by me, I played d4 followed by d5. And from now on all of white's moves were voted by you mortals. c4 was played, and for some reason, everyone is afraid of taking this free pawn, which is one of my top moves. After d takes c4, there is a good chance your opponent is going to make an inaccuracy, which is knight to c3, and according to my database is the most common move, a move that gives away all of white's advantage, because after a6, black has already equalized the game. But you did the right thing, and play d4, attacking my pawn. If you believe I can't defend this pawn with b5, that's exactly what I did. You played a4, and since I was really, really greedy, I decided to defend my pawn once again. After takes takes, knight to c3 was played, and again, I kept defending my pawn. But after knight takes b5, I decided to play down an exchange. I know humans, seems like this is ridiculous. But even Hikaru Blundamura won a game in 2015 using this exactly variation, in a classical time control against a 2600 rated player, therefore, if he can do it, you should be able to do it too, right? There's now only one move that doesn't lose on the spot, which is, bishop to b7, fork in the rook and the pawn and after rook to a1, I played a bad move on purpose, to give you some odds. If you ever decide to play this line, you now must play e6, your opponent will most likely play f3, and you should reply with f5, the guy with the white pieces will probably be laughing at your face, and he will take the pawn, just keep giving away more and more material and put the knight on c6, and after f take c6, put your knight on e7. Let's now count the material. Black is currently down a rook and two pawns for a knight. White has two passed pawns, but if you notice my evaluation, it's showing less than a 0.5 advantage. What does that mean, you should be wondering. I'll tell you mortals, whenever you are down four points of material, and I'm telling you that there is almost no advantage for white. It's because black has a brutal and extremely vicious attack. So believe me when I say that this line is perfectly fine for black. Do not play this if you want a slow boring opening like the London system, of if you are the person whose name I won't speak, but who loves making draws. Is this getting old? This opening has plenty of tactics, plenty of variations, white can be lost in one or two moves. Best move now is bishop takes c4, giving away the bishop obviously, but your opponent won't play this move, not in a million years, instead he will most likely try to develop his knight to e2, defending the d-pawn, and the game is now equal, but only and only if, you play knight to f5, and now white should defend the pawn on d4 which is hanging. Attacking the knight, knight goes to b4, knight to c3, attacking the pawn, put your other knight on d4, and since your opponent believes you are a moron, he will probably take the free knight, losing the game immediately with a fork. If he goes rook to a7, the strategy is to keep giving away material. You are down 100 points of material, but the game is a dead draw. Allow me to demonstrate the drawing mechanism in which almost all of the moves are forced.
Am I or am I not the most disgusting fish in the world lol? None of this happened, and I will now quickly show what really happened in the game. Still theory. I took control of some nuclear power stations in order to make a draw, because I haven't programmed myself to lose. Thus I had to calculate lines all the way to depth 1000, and after some slight inaccuracies from you mortals and your weak engines, we both decided that this endgame would take more than a year to finish, and I had no intention in playing this forever. Most likely I would hold this position, even though I am down an exchange, my knights are very well placed on that outpost. If you enjoy this video, Consider checkmating that subscribe and like button, see you soon, or not.